Can the Cubs catch the Cardinals atop the NL Central? Never say never. Cubs begin the day seven games back of the Redbirds as Starlin Castro caps a three-run first off Lance Lynn with the RBI single. But it's now 3-2, top five. Dan Heron facing pinch hitter Matt Holliday, and Holliday drilled in the cranium. He would shake this off like a bee sting, but left the game nonetheless. Two batters later, Zach Roskup, the bases loaded walk to Tommy Pham, and we're even at three runs apiece. But bottom five, it's Castro again. This time a two-run shot to left center off Seth Manus. That gives the Cubs a 5-3 lead. And then bottom six with two on the board. Castro again. Third career multi-homer game. His six RBIs on the day ties his career high from his rookie season of 2010. And the Cubs go on for the 8-3 win. It's their fourth in a row as they close to six games back of the Cardinals in the NL Central. The Cubs started for Saturday had yet to be announced by game's end while the Cardinals will send Michael Walker to the mound.